Let's shred. We got so many resources because Project Moon be like, what? We forgot to capitalize a letter? Here you go. 300 lunacy. <laughs> Alright! Switching screens right now. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the eye. It is really soft because I usually do my refraction... Wait, refraction real way? I usually do my mirror dungeons completely at 10% volume. So it's very soft. Yes, I know. <laughs> can I change that mid... game? Cause oh! What is this? Ah! Heathcliff. What the hell? <laughs> Let me bump this up real quick. There we go. Audio okay? Without warning, the bus ground to a sudden halt in the back streets. We'll stop here today. Karen, I fear we haven't quite reached the destination. Oh my god. <laughs> Result. We're approximately 15% short of the target location. Considering our schedule, proceeding at at least 3% would rather would be ideal. Karen's sleepy. Excellent bus drivers, don't drive while sleepy. Don't drive while EP, you guys. If you don't care about your own safety, care about the safety of the people around you. Got it? Just stop stomping the brakes every damn time. Do you know how much you've done this? I'm so sorry to people from, uh, Britain. Forsooth, Sir Heathcliff hath crashed his nose onto the back of the front seat for the fourth time. Which must signify that this is the fourth screeching halt to occur. You're so smart, Don. You're so smart. You're so cute, full of justice and smart. Leave the wheel as soon as you start feeling sleepy, said the radio. That's a good point, but you need to be a bit more flexible about that sort of thing. <laughs> a statement as plain as that can be quite amusing depending on who says it. Ha! The minted boy agrees with me. It's funny when the least flexible one says that kind of gavel. That kind of gavel? <laughs> what was that? If that's what you're playing at, what about that old windbag over there who still thinks she's a wartime general? Ah, uh, you're not talking about Otis. There's no- nah. There's no shot you're talking about Otis. My girl Otis. Ishmael pointed to Otis, whose veins were beginning to stick out of her veteran and placid face. Alright. Alright, kitties. Um, quiet down. <laughs> or, or, or don't. You know, if we get another Virgilia stomping scene, you guys couldn't be more pleased. I know. I know. You guys are secretly hoping for that to happen. This is a prime example of the terror of learned fear. It's happened enough to be familiar, but it's still rather intimidating to hear Virgilia send the bus into chilling silence with a single gesture or utterance. They're so afraid of him because they didn't see the April Fool scene. I did. We touched fingers. You know, we mean something right now. What is it? You were all happily chattering moments ago. No reason not to continue. Weren't you sighing to go on a proper rampage after? I was stretching. Felt a bit stiff. Load of... <clears throat> it's laughable how you behave. You're like dogs that drool at the sound of a bell. <laughs> well, what you gonna do, Heathcliff? What you gonna do? Take that hatred. Take that anger. And start rolling heads next time, okay? Stop giving me tails. All heads. Now just shut up and take it like everyone else. If you've got complaints, remember that my office in the back always has open hours. I'll make time for consultations. Miss Faust, I leave the rest to you. Of course. Virgilius nonchalantly walked past the sinners and their piercing stares with Kiaron at his side and both stood at the back of the bus. Open Peria. It's sesame, Kiaron. Kiaron knows. It's not like magic phrases are what opens doors anyways. If it wants to be, if she wants to say open perila, it's open perila. What's a perila? I suppose so. 
While they exchanged corny jokes, the door large enough to fill the back side slowly opened. Been a few months, but still weirds me out every time I see it. It's bigger on the inside, right? As the back door opened, a splendid, narrow, deep, spacious hallway revealed itself. An endless corridor that looked to go on forever. Fancy. Far into this hallway, Classy Poles demarcate the end of the area we're allowed to traverse, standing in front of the unending lines of red lights. Though the place seems comfy, something about it makes eerie feelings creep up. Now? Oh, it's Gregor! Now that I think about it, is that one of those singularities belonging to a wing? Frau Faust, do you know anything? When did you ever drop the Frau? Wait, he probably has like once or twice, but... Maybe he's like, oh yeah, I'm German. <laughs> Frau Faust. Of course it is known, but I am certain that you do know that I cannot speak of them in much detail, Herr Gregor. I could stand to be nicer about it. She was quite nice about it, but you know what? Maybe Gregor deserves more. He is baby girl after all. This is a corridor. Thank you, Ryoshu. Thank you, Ryoshu. Pick up your phone. Harvard is calling. That's correct. It's a corridor. <sighs> Surely. It sure is. A long hallway with doors to room on both sides. Of course it's a corridor. I F. What are you say? What are you trying to... <sighs> Whatever, I'm too tired. Dante, please hurry on with it. Gregor's words snapped me out of idly staring down the edge of the passage. Oh yeah, right. Dante, while I understand that you may feel it to be an unnecessary repetitive act, simply put, the executive manager's approval is a vital part of the procedure. Please understand. No need to put it like that, Miss Faust. With that answer, I got up from my seat and stood at the front of the bus, looking at the krill. I hereby confirm today's close of business for the sinners. Yay, day off! Thank you. Starting now, you'll be given a maximum of 12 hours to partake in sleep and rest. The duration subject to change. Have a good night. Nice place, though. No, of course I didn't say pervert. <laughs> if I said pervert... You would hear the P very distinctly. It's Harvard. Guess you haven't gotten calls from Harvard before yet, huh, Agent Dylas? As soon as Faust finished speaking, the sinners walked along with groans and sighs. Ah, oh, jeez. Man, I'm whipped. A fine night, young Sinclair. What say you? Another game of chess? No thanks, Don Quixote. You always run to Mr. Isong for hints whenever you're losing. Oh my god, actually boosted. <laughs> Don boosted. That is untrue, Sinclair. That was because I could not bear to watch the grievous misplacements. Th that's even worse! Oh, backseater, Isong! Limbus Company Gaming Night. Bonsoir, manager, and thank you for today's work. As for tonight's watch. Oh, Result. Thanks for suggesting. Yeah, I wasn't really feeling sleepy today. Then Otis suddenly intervened. <laughs> Are you gonna keep watch with me, Otis? I'd appreciate that. Executive Manager, allow me to remind you that I am always willing to stand in for night watch duty if you ever feel fatigued. Yeah, yeah, babushka de come. How's about we get inside now? Executive manager, your daytime hard work must... Sure, sure. Okay, okay, grandma. Let's get you to bed. <laughs> Come on! Otis wants to spend time with me. What's wrong with you guys? Ishmael gave me a small nod and then proceeded to draggingly chaperone Otis through the back door with Raja. Then, at last, Faust and I remained. That was fortunate, Dante. Had they not forced Otis to retire, she would have nagged you for the duty of the Night Watch for quite a while again. <laughs> Does happen a lot. I commentated back as I watched the sinners headed to the corridor, one after another. After Raja has entered and closed the door, Ishmael opens the same to get inside. 
You said the door leads to a different space each time it opens, right? Yes, as long as the sinner is in the right mental condition, the door will lead to lodging appropriate for rest and personal use. So you're saying none of us got rest and personal use. Got it, Faust. Do we look like we're in the right mental condition? We have a whole team of men head us at this point. No one is getting rest. Lodging, is it? They looked like jail cells the last time I peeked through the window. Still, she must mean it can be used as a personal living space for sleep, showers, self-care and all that. You seem to have other questions beside that. My clock has no eyes, nose or mouth, and yet... Somehow it feels as though Faust reads something out of me. Not that she'll tell me how she manages it. You know... Just curious about what's over there. I pointed down to the far end of the corridor with my finger. Right to the horizontal depths of this seemingly endless corridor. As I have told you repeatedly, it is best not to be curious about it, Dante. As expected, Faust chose to walk into the corridor with a faint sigh instead of a real answer. That is a Virgilius executive suite. Oh no, my BGM is on. Come in. Ah, I missed that. And yet, just maybe Faust knew all along. She knows it all, as she likes to say. I do like to say that too. Maybe she knew that I would learn about what lies beyond in the corridor soon enough. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Little Dante's notes, I guess. But what note did we take? No notes. Don't do Night Watch with Otis. That's it. And say your please and thank yous with Air Gregor. Oops. Get rid of that. But at least... We get ego target extractions. Because for the Faust and Don Quixote one, they just threw them in the normal pool and said, Well, good luck, everybody. Do your best. So I'm glad they're doing this. See? For those of you that had to pull in the normal banner for your Faust and Don Quixotes, um, you might be eligible to not financial compensation because that's how they make money. You may be eligible to, uh, my condolences from me. My condolences to those of you that did that out there. So, gonna take a look. I think I read a little bit of the discussion out there. Isang's new ego probably has the coolest animation. It is really cool. I saw a little bit of discussion about how... Oh, Hongu got the good one. Isang did not. How is this the bad one? Look at this. The mosaic censorship on the Twitter is really funny, though. <laughs> Dimension Shredder. Before attack, spend charge... Resource used by certain skills for additional effects. Is this, like... Dubbed on? Like the telepole getting charges? It might be. To deal more damage, max 75%. Hmm. On hit, if charge count was spent, inflict three dimensional rift. Now that's a new mechanic, I suppose. Three sloth and three greed. That's a very odd combo for a pride ego, but I don't mind it. Yeah. Right? Eh? <laughs> Sloth and greed, that's cool. <laughs> Gain rupture count by this effect's amount, then remove this effect. Eh? I'm not sure what that means. So... Gain rupture count by this effect's amount, then remove this attack... I mean, effect on the very same turn? Does that mean the rupture only affects it for that turn that Isang is attacking? Or like at the end of the turn, all the rupture counts disappear? The rupture count support. <laughs> We're gonna get a new Isang identity that uses charge. Yeah, most likely, because we haven't had a new Isang identity in a while. And his chapter is coming out very soon, but not soon enough, so. It makes sense, doesn't it? 
On hit, deal bonus pride damage by target's rupture times 10% by the damage dealt, then reduce rupture count by 5, max 100%. What? When hit by an attack, take... Yeah, we know that. That's what rupture is. Huh. Target's rupture times 10% of the damage dealt. Bunch of rupture, I guess. So... Huh. Dimension Shredder. Targets a random unit. Before attack, spend charge. This is Corrosion, which is gonna... I... Corrosion's gonna be so cool on him. With Rupture 10, it will do 100% extra damage. Ah! I get it now. Thank you, Blank452. Okay. Yep, we're gonna be rupturing some enemies, but... Still not too sure how to get charged. I guess just by using, um... These blue attacks. <laughs> right? Is that it? It might be it. Like, Dawn. Huh. Interesting. On hit, if charge count was spent, inflict three dimensional rift. On hit, inflict six rupture. Ooh! His passive generates charge. Ooh, let, I'll take a look at that real quick. Now that's fun, but I'm gonna hope that I don't have to use. No, maybe he's the kind that can solo things and. Nah. Meh. Any new IDs? No new IDs, only egos. Alright, let me look at the passive to make to tie this all together. At the start of the turn, if this unit took no damage last turn, gain plus four charge count. Ah! No damage. Oh no, Araxes, I didn't get them. We're just reading it right now. Let let's analyze what they actually mean. I haven't gotten them, Araxes. But I will, in a bit. Mm -hmm. Took no damage. Gain plus four charge count. S should be easy enough, to be honest. After successfully heating an enemy with a lower speed, inflict plus one rupture. Cool. I'm confident you will, so my congratulations is just early. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Araxis. Okay, there's that. Now, why are people saying, like, Hong Lu got the good one? Dimension Shredder. Before attack, gains 5 charge count, gains 2 haste next turn. That's pretty good! Maybe he can solo Refraction Railway with this. On hit, inflict 1 fragile and 4 dimensional rift. Or not, because a couple of Refraction Railway, um, levels, I, I retried a few. And some were just soloed by Dawn. Dawn could just solo it. Like, amazing. Amazing, girl. Thank you so much. Justice prevails once again. Mm. Right. So are people saying this is the better one simply for the haste alone? Could be. Haste is pretty good. Before attack, haste, corrosion is pretty good. Here's another one. Here's the passive. When hitting an enemy with negative status effects, this unit gains plus one charge count, max plus four per turn. When HP falls to zero for the first time during battle, spend all charge to heal in proportion to the amount spent. Huh! Huh! You know, I don't know about you guys, but like... I know some people... Have their units die a lot. <laughs> Not me though. Like, why would my units be dying, right? I'm a great clock face. Is Railway worth Railway? The event? Yeah, Hong Lu be like, I lived, bitch. You thought you seen the last of me? Thank you, Scream Queen Hong Lu. <laughs> yeah. Well, it makes sense. If you're looking at this art, of course he would come back from the dead. 
railway, like refraction railway, like is doing it worth? The answer is yes, of course it is. If Hongli is dying, you got more problems than can be fixed by a one-time rest. You never know, you never know. Anything can happen in this game because of the dice rolls. So, maybe it's what you need. You can't roll on the one who simps anymore. Oh, the one... Is it... Which one is that? Do you want Faust or Sinclair? Yeah, they can still spook you. I have never let any of my employees die. Thank you, Rogetsu. Ten points to you. All right! Let's do the paid one first, shall we? Just to warm things up. Warm up the machine a little bit. Eh. Ah, Gregor is here. Oh, I'm sorry. Er Gregor. Guten Tag. So, I can probably get... Faust's... Um... Cromer Faust in a bit. Depending on how much we pull. Sinclair's the one who simps. I don't know if he's the one simping, though. Is he the one simping in that... Identity? Because I didn't pull for that one. I tried with my daily free pulls. I mean, not free pulls. My daily paid pulls for the 13 lunacy. But I never got him, so I don't know what his story is like. Does he actually simp? Poor boy. Sinclair is just traumatized. Incredibly traumatized. He sure is. And I... Is that the story? Is the Sinclair story just him being incredibly traumatized? I wouldn't be surprised if that was it. The stories usually go like... The child... Looked upon the dead bodies with the dead eyes. Ah! <gasps> The child was covered in blood. The child was simping. <laughs> That's how you read it? Yeah, probably, huh? Okay, we got lots of threat. In fact, I'm waiting for the Raja. Like, I am ready for the next Raja identity or ego. Alright, let's use our one tickets. Five of them. First one, nothing. But, oh! I take Faust shards. I'm not sure if I should exchange the Faust shards for the one who grips Faust or sh because everyone says it's really good and it was really good. It saved a lot of lives or I mean it killed a lot of lives in Refraction Railway. If they released the chicken head Heathcliff, you would spend on it. <gasps> I mean, he already has a bunny head, so a, a chicken head might not be too far off. You might be onto something. Some Raja probably coming in a fortnight for season two. Exactly. Exactly. I am ready for that. We take the threads. Ishbayel, thank you. Bungie Heathcliff would be too powerful. You've seen the coins those things have got. <gasps> Heathcliff might be getting the most powerful identities in the world. Because Rabbit's already busted. But I, you know, I didn't know that he ran out of bullets. Like, I knew something was counting down, but I thought he would, like, have reload. Like, Happy Chaos or something. But no, he just runs out. So for long battles, I was like, wait! Bro, you can't do anything. I learned my lesson, so don't take him on long battles. Heathcliff has no stamina, unfortunately. Mikopa, thank you for the follow. Welcome in to trying to get the rupture egos. He can still win the clashes, just does very little damage. Yeah, he's basically a meat shield at that point, which makes sense. Thank you, Faust, for your shards. So I'm not sure if I should spend it on Faust's gripper identity. Because I see a lot of Telepole Dawns, but I don't hear anything about Telepole Faust. What exactly does it do? Or is it just like not as good because her identities don't work well with it that well? Hey, Ryosyo. All right, so uh, Privet Roger. 
You have 4th Heath and Ishmael, so you have to manually fight all your battles. Ah! Manually fighting your battles in this day and age? <laughs> Teleport Faust doesn't really have a lot of use right now. Fluid Sack is better. Yeah, Fluid Sack is better. Has saved my life countless times. Hmm. Yeah, Fluid Sack is great. It's great. I love she flew it on my sack till I... Gripper Faust is still more useful than Dub Faust with Pole. Hey! Fourth Ishmael keeps one-shotting her Gregor. What's... Why? What she got against Gregor? Alright, ten pulls, everybody. Let's go. What were the probabilities for egos again? I don't even want to check. Actually, don't tell me. It might <laughs> mentally break me. Ah! <laughs> ah! Welcome back. Don Quixote. Okay, let's try to reset our luck real quick. Oh. What is that? I saw an exclamation mark. Oh. Ingredient trimming. Nay. Words cannot be trusted. Evil Dawn. <laughs> so the people that are like, Dawn, your, your morals got us into trouble. How dare you? Realize that the morals that she has are the only thing keeping you and I safe right now. Evil Dawn will mess you up. I think for Hong Lu, I might need like a Bimbo Core playlist. Alright. Let's go! Let's go! You like Drip Marcel? I like him too. I like him so much that I exchanged my threads for him. So now I have no Marcel shards, so... They better hold off on the more salt identities or egos. The Dante's notes? No, I have not! I thought that the little opening cutscene was it, but I guess it wasn't. Oh, Sato! Ketty! Oh? I don't have this? Byosu in London. Nice! They've been adding notes in there every day. Let's take a look at that later then. <laughs> oh, come on! Come on! You know what? We're strategically farming threads, okay? Because when you get threads, you don't gotta pull. How many... Hongdu... Threads do I got? Ooh, um... Not nearly enough. <laughs> Two star Ryoshi is pretty good. She looks cool, so. Cause a lot of people say Kurokumo Ryoshi is good, but so far I have been a little bit underwhelmed by Kurokumo Ryoshi, or maybe I've just been rolling badly for her. Huh. Mm. Yeah, my my salt shards are non existent because I got drip salt. Good morning, Kopi. Early morning indeed. We early today. All right, let's tap into the funds that actually matter. But it's okay because I'm a good employee and good employees get paid more. Therefore, let's go. You're too off from grips. I sure am. Should I get grips or should I wait a little longer? Because they're not gonna release another Faust just yet, right? Because she got a new ego. She got an identity. Will they do me dirty like that? Is what I'm wondering. Kurokumo Ryoshi's bleed support. Her and N Faust are deadly together. Ah, I see. So that's why she's been underwhelming for me because I haven't been bringing the right people along with her. Let's go. Wait. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Ah! What are you doing? What was it because I was complaining about not having your ego shards? Thank you. Merci. You're so kind. Useful Isang identity when? I'm not sure. Soon, because his chapter is dropping, so they have to throw some respect on the name. Alright, I need to be philosophical to pull Isang. What was that thing that people said again? A person who thinks has nothing to think about but thoughts. Let's go, Isang. See, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for disrespecting you, Isang. Hoi, 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 hoi. So this puts us at ooh. So once I get past four hundred, I can probably just sell the other four. Oh, so many Rajan shards. Okay. Depends if they get another ID or eagle you want. Yeah, that's the problem, huh? Why do I have so many Heathcliff ego shards? Alright, you know what? Let's reset the luck. Let's reset it. Let's reset it. Maybe I turned on the stream with, like, bad vibes or something. Or they don't like the candle scent I'm using. Gotcha, rituals. <laughs> what scent am I using? I'm using like a citrusy vanilla scent. Pretty good. Sotro, Sotro. You've been threading all your Isang shards since he's not all that useful to me. He could be eventually, you know? The game will just sell some of your unused shards and boxes when the season ends. Eh? Really? So I gotta use all my shards like... Right now, right now? Right now? Hmm... Gacha is really basic and demands sandalwood. I don't have sandalwood. Or do I? I have... The sandalwood essential oil. Am I gonna pull out my diffuser? <laughs> nah, nah, they, nah, I'm sure Hung Lu can appreciate citrusy vanilla scents. Okay. When season ends, it'll turn half of the shards into thread. Eh? But the season doesn't end for a while, though, doesn't it? It's not until the end of June. Right? Because I know it got delayed a little bit. Two weeks! Okay, my bad. The start of June. <laughs> Ara! Nani kashira? Are? But, eh? But, eh? <laughs> we were just talking about you. To be honest, thank you, thank you. I don't mind it. You know, one day, that'll come in handy. Right now, Fluid Sack is better. But one day, there'll be an identity for Faust where this slaps. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Isn't... Am I on the right banner? I'm on the right banner, right? Well, just my luck to get something that's a little bit rarer than the target that's currently... ...rate up. One more ego out of the pool, at least. That is true, huh? Because... Wait, you can't get ego dupes? Is that it? Eh? I didn't know that. 
Bring it on. No ego dupes. That's so nice of them. <laughs> okay. We're still above 10,000 lunacy, so I'm still okay with that. I'm not sure if I want to dip under that. I mean, we could, but should we? That's the problem. <laughs> You know what? Fuck it, we ball. Ah, no. Did you say yo? Oh! Ah! Jamsimanyo. Ah! You know what? We're just getting threads back, but I have to spend these threads, don't I? <sighs> mm, I could. Mm, I could. Do I? <laughs> Do I be silly and get the one who grips? Even if you have everything, it just means there's no egos to draw. Ah! Okay. Okay. Let's do it. It's okay if we dip under 10,000 because with all the shards... We can possibly get something good. Should I just exchange? I'll exchange the one who grimps after the end of this session, okay? Hmm... gonna? No, and I have no self-control. Let's go! For me? For me? <laughs> <laughs> um, Maji, the uh, a Gregor's Air Gregor, bitte. <laughs> Short King, I know, I know, he wanted me for real, for real. Okay, trust. Isn't this proof enough? Checks probabilities. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that bad. Let's keep going. <laughs> Oi. Ah! This has to be it, right? It has to be, right? Right? Tiba? We got it. 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 <laughs> What is life but pain and suffering indeed? Well, you just increase your ego chance. So true, actually. You're kind of spitting right now. All right. So you get 50 shards for an ego dupe. So I think you can still draw egos if you still have everything. Eh? Oh, okay, okay. So what you're saying is I can still get spooked just a little bit. Well, you know what? Keep going. Oh! No! What? Has our luck dried up? Well, we've gotten to Hong Lu. I see you. I see you, girly. What do we have now? Okay, so Hong Lu is at three two eight. That's not bad. That is pretty close. Do a couple of like daily missions. Get a couple of boxes. If things go really badly, we could still get him by the end of the season. There's a separate table in the probabilities if you have all egos. Oh! Oh! Okay. Let's go. Nani kore! Ah! I'm sorry, I didn't mean. Gregor ah! si! <laughs> er Gregor! I'm telling you, he want me. You want me. I seem to have a bug on my screen right now. <laughs> I think my computer is bugging. My Limbus company is bugging. 
えどうしよう Where is my Gregor? I'm even close to 400 on Gregor. And I, I like sold all of his because I thought I had everything I needed for him. Which is true, I kind of do. Let's go. To be honest, we're kind of stacked. We have been getting pretty stacked things. Time to send Project Moon an angry email. Nah, I couldn't do it. This is what we signed up for. Ultimately, this is gotcha mechanics, and you know about gotcha mechanics. There's no point in being angry at a gotcha mechanic. It is the luck of the draw. When in Vegas, am I right? That being said, come on, Hong Lu! Or Yi Sung. Either one. You know, I'm not picky. Like, I just prefer the Hong Lu one because of the passive. Because he can come back to life, and that's hilarious. Down into the paid lunacy now. We sure are. Ooh! Okay, what is it this time? Huh, game? What is it this time? Hmm? Ah, Maji! <laughs> I think my dimension is getting shredded. But isn't that... Like, if we don't have enough... Things to claim. What do we do with the shards? They're just gonna get converted? Should I just buy them before the season ends then? Or... Do I just... Do I really just lose all my shards? All of them? <laughs> Only half. That's still quite a bit, huh? Half of my current shards. Huh, so maybe I shouldn't have been selling them once they hit 400, huh? Because at this rate, I would probably have to exchange, like... Ryoshio? Yeah, I'll exchange Ryoshio. Sinclair, pretty close. You'll get 75 thread. We're gonna get so much thread. You're not selling any shards. Oh, I didn't know this! Oh, Project Moon fan who doesn't read. Name a better combination. You know what? Let's just keep going. Okay, okay. Don't play with me, game! Don't play with me! I can't watch! I can't watch! <laughs> I meant soup! I meant soup! But if you think about this, like, objectively, isn't our luck kind of crazy? Because the rate for those are lower, no? But we're still swimming in them. We're swimming in a 0.0722%. That's crazy, and if you think about it that way, of course. In a sense, kind of crazy, no? <laughs> don't think about it. That's true, don't think about it. We keep going. Besides, if things don't go my way, I still have Hisatsuwaza. Or... You know, this. This. Hi, Rojashi. Hi, hi everyone. Inobunobu, good of you to drop by. And hey, Wayoka. You got all season 1 egos. I did get all season 1 egos, didn't I? Wait, did I? You guys... Just staring at me, mocking me. Let's go. Oh, what go? Oh, what he must do? To be honest, when have we ever mocked you? They're not mocking me, okay? You guys have never mocked me. I'm saying these two are mocking me. Damn, you guys hate me. I guess I have been. Babying and pampering Gregor too much, and I have never been taking them on refraction railways. Maybe I didn't bring them on the road trips. I know I have been favorite. I have been a little bit biased to my baby girl. Do you have crates left? Um, no, I I ate them all. 
Yeah, I don't, surprisingly enough. However... I don't know. We could get Gripper Faust right now, which I kind of want to do because... She's really helpful, and now that you say that she pairs up well with Kuroku Morioshi, I might as well get her, huh? Hmm... Might as well, might as well. Come home. Come home fast. She leaves the store until season 3. I just don't want to like half my... Shards get reduced to half. Gaming, she gaming! You know... You always think your eagles look like me? Nah, this is how we actually look. <laughs> hey! What would you do if you got a Faust do? Well, I mean... I'm probably just gonna be banking on shards. Alright. So, let's take a look at my secret technique. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody! Hey, Fours. Hey, Fours. Wh what are you talking about? Welcome in. Welcome in. How exciting! <laughs> anyway... This is all I'm going to put into the game, though. So, for now, for now, for now. Oh, hey! Somehow there's more lunacy. It's called time travel. So, because I didn't like the outcome earlier, I time traveled. And I got some of it back, but because my powers, um... There's a limit to them. I didn't get all of it back. Party time! Hmm. Maybe I gotta reset the luck. One more time. Because you can travel back in time, but sometimes you can't reset the outcome. Unless... <laughs> one more, one more, before we reset the game. And... Oh, come on, come on, Hong Lu. From as bimbo to bimbo. I know you want to come back. Isang, you know, I can be philosophical too when my heart feels like it. Resetting the luck, everybody. <laughs> Remember to spend within your means. This is within my means, so I can do it. Perfect. <gasps> Just prepare some spoiled milk and Isang will come. Why? Did I miss like the Isang lore? Does he really what? Spoiled milk. Get out of my sight, Heathcliff. <laughs> Spare some lunacy. Get your own. You're a salaryman, don't you? It's in the name. You have a salary. A flowering potato will work too? What is he into? What is this man's into? Pilk. Pilk actually doesn't sound too bad. I've heard from people that it's... Oh... Yatana? Got him! Huzzah! Off we go! We did it. <laughs> Off with your head, you mean. We take those. We take those. You gotta drink it fast or the milk will spoil. Milk doesn't spoil within seconds. Because ice cream soda exists. So that's why Pilk doesn't sound too bad. Sasuke <laughs> Watashi! Alright! Now, wasn't that fun? Coke milk is fun. I think it is too, huh? But should we go for another? <laughs> I mean... Eh? <laughs> but what if we get... Isang? 
Hmm? Let, let me check my shards real quick. Yeah, we're nowhere close. FBI agent? <laughs> what if we use it all? What if we... You know... I'm not saving my lunacy for the Limbus Company too. I mean... I might as well. Can get him next season though. And next season? But I'm in... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you all. Thank you, chat, for being my impulse control. So there you have it. We did get one, so let's go equip that real quick. Damn. Nice. You know what? Let's uptie this. I want to see the story. <laughs> Men had a Fausto. The child had remained seated in the same spot for three days now. She just like me for real. It is as if the screen had absorbed her attention completely. Bring even the desire to eat or sleep beneath sensory stimulation. Oh my god, it's you guys! The child seems as if she can't feel a thing. Yes, this is it. It keeps going. The room's air is still, only stirred on occasion by creepy cackles, murmured monologues, and the clicks and taps of the keyboard and mouse. Mm, just look at how many infidels are printing out prosthetics. How appalling. How disgusting. A storage device was plugged into the child's computer. It's tiny. Glowing letters read Emil, followed by the name that must be the key she got from Sinclair. Following the name, my bad. Sinclair. Oh, Sinclair. My, how grateful I am for you. Truly. <laughs> the whole village is a den of heresy. It must have been quite unpleasant to live in such a place. Sinclair. The child's mind is busy with thoughts. Now, how will I purify those impure things? No, let's think for a second. Those heretics still keep the purest peace in their bodies, don't they? The brain. Even those who have replaced their entire bodies with prosthetics still have a brain. The likes of the heart and lungs can all be augmented and swapped out, but the brain is the one pure, irreplaceable thing in the city. <laughs> That won't do. Think of the poor thing all surrounded by impurity. The irony churns my guts just thinking about it. I'll have to rip their heads apart. That way the impure will stay impure. Yes. Yes! With her mind finally made up, the child rose from her seat and gripped a huge nail. <laughs> You're my hero, Sinclair. With her other hand, she unfolded a map stained with blood and grease. It's exactly as I saw through the glass window in that company's lab. That glimpse of the righteous fury you showed for such filth. A little prod got you to hand this treasure over to me. She appeared as though she were possessed by something as she bit off the lid of her red pen. I shall purge the heresy encircling you. I shall wipe clean the disgust. You will see it in no time. The future where we judge heretics together has been set in stone. We will meet soon. Sinclair! There was a burst of frivolous laughter and compulsive gestures. The child cackled like a maniac. All as she kept drawing circles over the... Where Town of Call was indicated on the map. We will purify the filth together. Shoulder to shoulder. The town on the map was now covered in red. Oh, man, she... You know? She freaky freaky. Faust versus... Uh, when you're in a... <laughs> when you're in a most normal competition... And your opponents are Faust and Corp Faust and Cromer. As if she hinted at what would become of this town. That's fun. She's fun. Faust is fun. Is she called Faust? She really is called Faust. People get confused because, you know, Faust. 
That is a popular name because it's cool. Hmm. So there's that. There's that. Hey. So, there we have it, everybody. We got him. Huh. Nice. I got soup too, I guess. <laughs> 500 Heathcliff shards? What the hell am I gonna do with 500 Heathcliff shards? Oh, legends say if you get a that if you get ten thousand Heathcliff shards, you get like free entry to the Big Ben. Soul is actually really good for next season, but they cut my resources in half though. If I have like five hundred, I'm gonna end up with two hundred and fifty. Hundred K, you get to meet the king exactly. <laughs> a million, you get coronated. Heard it from me first. Well, let me take a look at the notes real quick. I don't think I'm gonna read these uh, to you guys, because unless you guys want like audiobook, lapless reading Dante's notes, but th this is a bit much to read. On stream. Speaking out loud. But! Then again, you Project Moon fans hate reading, right? Like half of you hate reading and half of you read too much. There's no in between. 10 million, you get to spend the day with Mr. B. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Can't confirm. I read too much. You do read too much, Araxis. It's like there's either the fans that read like the entire literature collection and literature references of the Limbus Company characters, or you have the people that go roll dice. Click auto battle. Somehow win. Profit. <laughs> and then you have the others that probably just look at like. Gregor fan arts. <laughs> Three different types of people. Which category do you fall under? Read too much, don't read, or looking at Gregor fan arts. Those are the only Limbus Company players that exist. <laughs> But yeah, there you have it, everybody. Thank you for coming to this short stream. It was going to be short. So, I know, I know, I know. I, I hear the cries of indignation. Lapless, don't leave us so soon. Gotta happen. You haven't read too much. You haven't translated the rest of Leviathan yet. Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> I read a lot. Can't count how many times I read. <laughs> Win rate button A! Rogetsu, me too. Win rate button, win rate button. 